Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this particular video, I will explain the problem is binary number multiple of 3. The problem is really interesting and asked by companies like Amazon, Microsoft, etc. So without any further delay, let's get started. Here is the problem statement. It says that you are given a number in its binary form and you have to find if the given binary number is a multiple of 3. And it says that it is recommended to finish the task using one traversal of the input binary number. So one example is given here. It says that you are given a binary string which is 0011 and you have to tell whether the this particular number is divisible by 3 or not. Okay, so we know that this binary representation is for the number 3 and the number 3 is divisible by 3 itself, right? So the output is going to be 1 in this case. Now let me take one more example. So let's say I have a binary representation which is 1 0 0 0 for this if you try uh, if you convert this binary number into its decimal form then we will get the number 8 and we know the number 8 is not divisible by 3 right so output is going to be 0 in that case now i hope you have understood the problem well so let's talk about the solution okay so i have written one example here uh, which is a string 0 0 1 1 and after looking at the problem, you will say that, hey, the solution is quite easy. All we need to do is convert the binary number into its decimal form, right? So once we have done this, then we can easily say whether the number is divisible by 3 or not. So even this approach is uh, right, right? Uh, the reason is, uh, when we, whenever we have a smaller input, then it is an easy task to convert the input into the decimal form, right? But the problem is, whenever we have a large input, so let's say we have a string of length 10 raised to the power 5. In that case, it will become a very hard task to convert uh, this number into the decimal form. The reason is the uh, data types like integer, long or like double will not be able to handle uh, such a large number. So this is the reason this problem becomes a medium level problem, right? Okay. So now what we can do is, uh, let me take one example to explain the approach. I have taken one example 84. If I write the decimal uh, like binary represent representation of this, then I will have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then 0, 0, right? And okay, so how to convert this number into its decimal form again? The task is quite simple. Uh, every bit here is, is representing a power of 2. So I can write it. I can write this is the zeroth bit. So it, this is 2 raised to the power 0 which is 1. Then I'll get 2 raised to the power 1 which is 2, then 4, then 8, then 16, then 32 and 64, right? Okay, so now we know one more thing that whenever we have a bit 0, then this bit is not going to contribute to the uh, number, right? So these bit are not going to be contributing to the number. So now what I'm left with is 64 plus 16 plus 4. So I have broken 84 into these three numbers. And this is what comes from the binary representation. Okay, now I'm going to further divide every number into two components. The first component is the number which is completely divisible by 3. So this is, let's say 63 for this, plus 1, right? I can break uh, this number into these two numbers. How I have done this? This is nothing but the remainder when this number is divisible by 3, right? So this is n mod 3. And this is simply uh, n minus n mod 3. I hope you are able to uh, understand this particular division. Similarly, I can write this particular number as 15 plus 1, right? Okay, and this particular number as 3 plus 1. Okay, so now I'll simply add these three numbers, but in a different way. The way that I'm going to use is, I will add these three numbers, which is completely divisible by three separately and these three numbers separately. So this way, I will be able to get 63 plus 15 plus three. And for this, I'll get one plus one plus one. So this will give me 81 and this will give me three, right? So I can write 84 as 81 plus three. And this is what I have written with the help of these three numbers. Okay, so the reason uh, of writing in this representation is, I know that this part is completely divisible by three, right? What is the reason? The reason is 
these individual numbers are completely uh, like a divisor of like divisible by 3 so when i add these number then the resultant is also going to be completely divisible by 3 so this part is completely divisible by 3 and what i'm really concerned about is this particular part which comes after adding the remainder right so these are the remainders that i have added so whenever i uh, like i have the resultant sum of the remainders then this is something which may or may not be divisible by 3 right and this is going to give us the answer so if this is divisible by 3 if this is divisible by 3 then i can say that the number is divisible by 3 so you can say that 84 is completely divisible by 3 but let's say i have a number 86 i have a number 86 so okay let me change the page so if i have a number 86 then the binary representation will be 10101 then 10 right this is the binary representation and now the numbers are 64 then i have 16 then i have 4 and then i have 2 right and when i divide this number uh, again then i'll get 63 plus 1 for this i have okay so i have 15 plus 1 then for this i have 3 plus 1 and for this i have 0 plus 2 so these part i know are completely divisible by 3 right and these particular parts are the remainder when I divide this number by 3. Okay, so when I add the remainders, because I'm not concerned about this part. I have already explained this thing here, right? I'm not concerned about this particular part. I want this part. So when I add these particular remainders, then I'll get 1, 1, 1, 2, which will give me 5, right? And I know the number 5 is not divisible by 3. This means that I can say 86 is not completely divisible by 3. So this is the approach that we are going to use to solve the problem. See what we are doing here. We are traversing each bit and then, okay, so we start traversing from here, right? We start traversing each bit. Then whenever we have a bit one, then we will get this remainder, right? We'll get this remainder. And again, we will get this remainder for this particular bit. Again, we will get again. This is how we are going to move. And then we are going to sum up all the remainders. So the approach will be something like four i equals to 0, i smaller than n, and then i plus plus. Inside this, if my if my s of i equals to 1, then I simply say that sum plus equals to remainder, right? Remainder. Once I have got the remainder, then at, okay, so at last, once I have got the sum, then I can simply do one thing. Okay, so let me zoom this out. And here, uh, once I have got this particular sum, so I can say uh, that whether the number is divisible by 3 or not. So all I need to do is return, return, uh, okay, so sum mod 3 equals to 0. If this condition is true, then I have to return 1, else I have to return 0. This is the approach. This is the approach. But the question is, how to get this remainder? Because this is something which is not uh, an easy task, right? You have to make some observation in order to complete this particular thing. Let me show you how. So, if you try to get the remainder using this 64, so you will say that, hey, uh, all I need to do is I need to calculate the power of 2, right? So let's say here the uh, I have a counter. So the counter is equal to the length n. So at this point, I will have 2 raised to the power uh, like n minus 1. If this is n minus 1, then here I'll have 2 raised to the power. Okay, so whatever is the counter at this point. And this way I'll be able to get the power. And once I have got the power, I have to do power mod 3, right? This is the remainder. But this is not going to work. The reason is, if I have a very large string, so if I have such a large string, then calculating the power of 2 for this particular string is going to be a very hard task because the length is 10 raised to the power 5 and 2 raised to the power uh, 10 raised to the power 5 is something which cannot be calculated, right? Uh, which cannot be stored in these particular data types. Okay, so we have to make one observation here in order to find the remainder. Let me show you what is the observation. So first of all, let me make a new page here. And now here, uh, I'm going to write a binary representation of a number. So let's say I have, okay, so let me write, even let me write the power of 2. So I have 2 raised to the power 0, then 2 raised to the power 1, then 2 raised to the power 2 and so on, right? And the resultant of these powers is going to be 1, 
2 4 then 8 then I have 16 then I have 32 64 and so on right okay so 64 64 mod 3 64 mod 3 when 64 is divided by 3 then the remainder is 1 right and when 16 is divided by 3 then again the remainder is 1 when 4 is divided by 3 the remainder is 1 and for this again the remainder is 1 similarly if you calculate for these numbers then you will find that the remainder is 2 right this is the observation the observation says that whenever we have even power to even power of 2 so you will see that this is 2 raised to the power 0 then 2 raised to the power 2 2 raised to the power 4 2 raised to the power 6 right these are the even power of 2 so these are always going to give uh, the remainder 1 the reason is any even number can be written as 2k in the form of 2k because it will be divisible by 2 so even power of 2 means 2 raised to the power 2k right this is nothing but 4 raised to the power k and now I have 4 raised to the power k and 4 raised to the power k mod 3 for every k will give me the remainder as 1 right so that's why I am getting remainder 1 here similarly I will get remainder 2 here because 2 raised to the power k uh, is nothing but for every k uh, for every value of k it will give me the remainder as 2 even if you check for uh, 2 raised to the power 1 so if you check for 2 raised to the power 1 then it will give you a 2 4 like 2 more 3 which is 2 right but you can put here power 0 or power 2 the reason is it is again going to be a case for 4 raised to the power k right so you have to put only odd values of k here fine so this is the observation Whenever we have even power of k, so I'll always write remainder as 1 and for odd power of k, I'll write the remainder as uh, like 2, right? So we can modify this approach. We can modify this approach. Whenever we have i as even, so now I have to write this. What I'll do is, I'll write if i is even, if i mod 2 is equal to 0. In that case, the remainder is 1, right? So I'll write sum plus equals to 1. And if i is not even then sum plus equals to 2 so at last this approach is going to give us this sum right and initially we have sum equals to 0 so this is what we can do in order to solve this problem i hope you guys have got the idea now let me show you the code so this is the code that we have on the left hand side i have the c++ code and on the right hand side i have the java code and then the python code so you can see that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, like calculate only the remainder right and calculating the remainder simply uh, the reason behind calculating the remainder is something that i have already explained to you because this part is always going to be divisible by 3 right you can see here but we always want the remainder or uh, the sum of the remainders and this is going to give us whether the number is divisible or not so you can see here that how we are calculating uh, only we have to calculate when the bit is 1 the reason is only 1 bit are going to contribute to the number right not 0 bit so that's why I am writing this condition and this is the last uh, when I am calculating when I am checking the sum right. So this is the Java code and Python code. Now I hope you have understood the problem and the solution well and talking about the time complexity. So the time complexity of this approach is going to be O of n right because we are doing a single traversal of a binary string and the space complexity is going to be O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. So this is all about this video. Thank you.